Hey everybody, welcome to Tech Only. Today, we're going to go over the best under 400 watts wind turbines for camping at home. Make sure to watch it until the end, because it's one of the most fantastic wind turbines I've ever seen. Originally the Wind Lily was designed and built as a water turbine, and that's why the original name is Water Lily. But after the successful water turbine, now the wind turbine is also available, but unfortunately only in a bundle, together with the water turbine. I must admit that this is an excellent solution for anyone who regularly camps or hikes, considering that they would have a guaranteed power supply if you are near the river, and a double power supply if there is wind. There are two outputs. 5 volts regulated USB output, up to 3A, and 12 volts output, with 14.6 volts DC up to 2A. The maximum power for both outputs is 15 watts. The minimum wind speed for Windlily is 7 miles per hour. For 15 watts output, it needs 16 miles per hour, and for a maximum of 23 watts, you will need the wind of 22 miles per hour. In winds of 10 miles per hour or 16 kilometers per hour, the wind lily attachment can charge most small electronics at the same rate as a wall charger. The faster the wind, the more power your wind lily can generate. The bundle includes a water lily turbine that generates up to 15 watts of power in rivers and streams. So that's two power sources with one device. Although I personally consider wind and water lily to be perhaps the best products for camping, there are two reasons why I put wind lily last on the list. The first is that the other wind turbines have a capacity of 400 watts, and the second is that it is currently unavailable, and if you want them, you have to register on the waiting list. Of course, at the time of recording this video, it was unavailable, but maybe it is already available now. I will put the link in the description so that you can check it for yourself. This Marsrock wind turbine has 400 watt rated power. It has 12 and 24 V rated voltage. The price I showed a moment ago is for 24V, but if you want to add 12V, I think it's about $300 all up. I also want to mention that the standard for rating wind turbines is about 22 meters per second or about 24 to 25 miles per hour. So if the wind turbine has 400 watts rated power, keep in mind that this is in ideal conditions. So if you are buying or thinking about buying any wind turbine, I would definitely advise you to lower your expectations by 50%, and then you will definitely be satisfied. I believe that no one will tell you this, but I want to give you the most realistic insight possible. Next is the Ye Marine Wind Turbine. It is also rated at 400 watts, and the maximum wattage is 430 watts. It is 12 volts DC and it comes with 5 blades. The main engine's net weight is 13.6 pounds or 6.2 kilograms. It has a larger windward area, enabling it to generate electricity at lower wind speeds. Starting wind speed is 2 meters per second and the rated wind speed is 11.5 meters per second or 25 miles per hour. This unit is substantial, has nice casting, and has white enamel gloss paint. The parts are very well milled and finished and the nylon blades are well suited. The charge controllers are nice too, and appear to be fully weather resistant. There are some reviews that show that the power output is not as in the specifications, but I guess that for this price, it deserves to be in third place on our list. This is DynaLiving 400 watts 12 volts wind turbine generator. The motor adopts a three-phase AC permanent magnet synchronous generator, free running, low noise, and long service life. It has three blades, and the blades are equipped with a copper inlay part that does not damage the nylon fiber when the bolt is tightened. The coil is made of Teflon wire, which is resistant to high temperatures. I will mention again, that everything depends on the strength of the wind and the location where you place the wind turbine. My personal opinion is that any wind turbine with a 400 watts rating, can be used to recharge batteries, but not to actively provide energy. And in the first place is the Pika Sola wind turbine generator with 3 blades. It is 400 watts, 12 volts, and weighs 18 pounds. You could immediately notice the difference in price because this unit is a bit more expensive, but judging by many reviews, this is by far the best wind turbine in this price range. Wind blade is 23.4 inches in length, and made of nylon carbon fiber. The longer the blades are, the more kinetic energy they generate and the more power they produce. Nylon material is waterproof, corrosion resistant, and lightweight. There is a fully integrated voltage regulator that automatically shuts down when the battery is fully charged. The wind generator is controlled by an MPPT intelligent microprocessor, which can effectively adjust current and voltage. And I will say again that the wind turbine should be installed where there is strong wind or no tall buildings and obstacles. 
If installing the wind turbines near the obstacles, the position is better as far as possible from obstructions, or the installation height should be 20 feet higher than the top of obstructions, which can make full use of the wind power. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos of alternative power generators and much more. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.